Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Hey guys, I'm Shay and today I'm doing my May and birthday book haul. So my birthday was last month in May and so I actually didn't get any books for my birthday but I got a lot of money so I went crazy buying books and they were all like pretty newish releases but then I also got some earlier this month but I wanted to show you them right now go so first I wanted to show you the ones that I got earlier last month and that is all three of the like bind ups of the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout so this has Obsidian and Onyx, the second one has Opal and Origin, and then the last one has Shadows. Oh, Shadows is the novella, but there's book six in here too. Oh, Opposition. So I have all of the books in the Luxe series now, so that's cool. Um, as you know, if you saw my Obsidian book review, I did enjoy the first one enough to want to continue the series, but that one I had on ebook. But now I have all of them, so that's exciting. And they're also shiny, like, they're like the weird kind of like, shiny anyway so then um a few months ago i saw on tumblr that rainbow rowell was releasing or they her publishers were releasing um special editions of fangirl and that like all the online book sellers there was amazon barnes and noble and then indie what's it called indigo i think indigo books or whatever all three of them were gonna have like exclusive covers and so i wanted i'm like a weirdo and like special editions of books even if i already have the book it's like it's the same book but it's gonna be a different cover so i wanted like all of them um but i couldn't get the indigo one because it's in canada it's a canadian bookstore and so i mean i could get it but it would be a lot of money so i decided not to go for that one but amazon and barnes and noble both had their own exclusive covers one was light pink and one was dark pink and they were really cool, so I pre-ordered them, and they came last month. Um, but the problem was, was that for some reason, I got um, two of the same one. So one of them lied to me. I was supposed to have a dark pink one and a light pink one, but I got two light pink ones. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the other one. I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a giveaway when I reach a thousand subscribers, which isn't too far away, but just just know that one of these lovely books could be yours if you help me get to a thousand subscribers. So, incentives! But anyway, these editions were pretty cool. I mean, like I said, they come with the light pink cover um, as opposed to the like teal cover. Um, and then also the, the actual book under the dust jacket is really cute. Like it has like the, the coffee cup for Kath. And I just like the color of the, the writing is like that teal color. Um, and then it has, it has um, illustrations on the inside. I think it's just, yeah, it's just on the front and the back. So there's that. And then, wow, this is really complicated. Ah, that'll be my copy. And then there's that one. So I mean, it's really cool that they did that. Um, because it's not on the other one, obviously. Oh, and they have this cute, um, the little ribbon bookmark in it. So that's cool. A little pink ribbon bookmark. So, I mean, it's a, it's a cool addition. It's not just the cover that's changed. They actually changed a little bit of the inside. So that was cool. But yeah, I have two copies of it now, so whatever. Alright, so other than that, I got books. Like I said, I bought books with the money that I got for my birthday, so I will show you those ones now because they're really exciting. So the first one that I wanted to show you is The Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz. And this is a Descendants, a Disney novel. It is about all of the Disney villains. I think they get exiled to an island and this is about their children. So that's really cool. And I know this came out actually just recently. Um, if you've read this, uh, let me know what you thought of it. If, actually about any of these books if you read them let me know what you thought about them because it's always fun to hear people's opinions on other books so this one was really cool has a really pretty has my favorite kind of texture cover so nice next up i got the air by kiara cass and this is the fourth book in the selection trilogy so this one's a companion novel i think to the trilogy or like happens like way in the future and i'm not going to say what is what it's about um because that's spoilery and i actually spoiled it for myself because i've only read the first one um but that's okay spoilers don't bother me that much but it is really cool it's really pretty um and this one is actually signed tadowski sometimes target carries signed copies of books if you didn't know so that's exciting 
Um, so yeah, I was really excited about this one. I do hope that I get the other three books in physical copy so I can read them. I mean, I read the first one in ebook, but I really want to own all of them in the same format. So hopefully I will get the other three soon because I want to be able to read this and I can't read this until I read the other two. The next one is one that everybody's been ranting and raving and loving. Um, and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. And this was actually, I think, the book explosion book of the month for um, Kat, Jesse, and Christine last month. Last month? Maybe two months ago? I don't remember. But anyway, um, it looked really interesting. I think I heard it from them. And I guess the book was so good that the publishers, like, picked up or, like, they wanted a second novel. So now this, I think this was supposed to be a standalone, but now I guess Saba is going to write book two for it. And I guess it's already been optioned for a movie. So that's really cool, too. I mean... That's oh, so much is happening with this book and I've never even read it, but I wanted to pick it up because of everything that I just said. So there you go. Um, yeah. Next up I got Seeker by Arwen Ellis Dayton. That's interesting. I like the cover a lot. It's really cool. Like the, at first when you look at it, it just says like Seeker and you see the sword, but I had never even noticed all the, it's like a ram. I don't know. Anyway, this one looks really cool. It looks very fantastical. Um, and I like Fantastical. Don't know much about it, but looks good. So, the truth will end them all. Oh yes. And finally this month I got A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. This is her retelling of Beauty and the Beast, and it's a new adult book. And I actually just finished reading it yesterday, and it was really, really good. And I actually have, or am going to have, depending on when I post this video, um, a book talk on it. And so, if it's up, I will link it below, and if it's not up, then I will link it below later, when it is up. This book has gotten a lot of really good reviews. Um, I really like the cover, it's really, really pretty. It feels really different than what I'm used to. Like, this is a really different texture of a book. But anyway, yes, it was very good. New adult. So remember that. All right, so that is it for this book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a great night, and I will see you next time. Bye!